Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case of some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. I would advise you guys to check in with your sun, moon, and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um, to connect with you for basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading okay so aries sun moon and rising sign this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com and again this is a general reading so it will connect and it may not connect with you entirely so um yeah just wanting to express that again and again that the only way for me to do a reading and make a prediction specifically for you and your own situation is to get a private session so um yeah i do get a lot of emails and comments um mentioning about the predictions and all i can really say is that you know it's not necessarily for you so whether they are positive or negative you know i don't want to be negative to someone i mean who wants to be negative with someone right but um yeah i just want to tell you guys that hey this is what i'm picking up take it or leave it okay so um yeah um i did pick up a few caramency cards over here just to give us an idea of the energies in place and we have a live blacks over here and a lot of um, difficult energy as well so for some of you guys i kind of feel that this could be a situation of difficulty in relationships or something is about to culminate in terms of your relationships we have the nine of spades over here the four of spades this is a situation wherein things are isolated and cramped the two of clubs is about relationships you know the bond that you have maybe with a certain person you know the jack of spades so um yeah with the four of clubs over here, like, you know, something is about to happen regarding the situation, regarding this relationship that is not moving forward, not progressing, something like that. So um, maybe this is the focus of the reading. So, but um, hey, let us see. I'm opening up the cards now. Let's see what we have here. With your current situation, you do have the ace of swords and the strength card and this is a point wherein maybe you are in a situation that is somehow in a stalemate there is a form of you know a lot of mentality is in place here maybe you are thinking too much being preoccupied with a lot of things to the point wherein you are not really resolving anything at all. This can also be a situation wherein you are feeling a lot of energy. A lot of feelings are in place. You are becoming a lot of passionate in terms of your feelings. You want to express this. But um, yeah, let's first open up the cards because I'm really not... I feel that the information flows in a lot more clearly when I see everything in place. So like I said, um, we have the tower card here at the foundation card. So this makes um, 
this gives a confirmation that you are feeling something quite heavy, quite explosive, like your emotions are so rampant, you know, uncontrollable. So there is really something that you are feeling at this point. And maybe you're trying to hide your feelings, but it is now coming to a point wherein you need to release them. So maybe you are about to speak up to someone that you haven't spoken with in such a long time, or maybe there is something that you need to um, clear it out. So I just know that there's going to be a lot of emotions related to this reading. And it shows here that you have the seven of rods in the past. So you have been fighting off. You have been doing a good job to control your urges, control your emotions. Um, and I kind of feel that, you know, you're hanging by there, but it doesn't really tell us that you have won the fight, you know. I just kind of feel that you are resisting a lot of things. You're not really resolving anything, but you are resisting the energies in place. And I kind of feel that this could be the month wherein you finally say your piece you needed to express your own thoughts. You needed to say something, um, something like that. And this is probably because there are things that you cannot hide any longer. There are things that, you know, uh, you just really want clarity of. Or this could be a point wherein your emotions and your impulses in life is becoming a lot more stronger and it's something that cannot be stopped by logic and thinking alone. So um, yeah, I kind of also feel that this could be a situation wherein you might need to work with someone or, I don't know, work with a relationship, work with your own emotions, try to resolve any emotional conflicts that has been existing in a situation. It could be emotional conflicts that you have within yourself or it could be emotional conflict that you have with someone else you know that kind of feeling here there is going to be news and messages that is going to come into place so this could be you trying to contact someone or it could be that person is going to contact you either way there is going to be a form of messages and conversations. A lot of communication exchanges could be happening right here. And yeah, it's going to signal like a new start, a new venture, it's like a new beginning of some kind is going to be in focus. We do have this nine of rods. So this can be a point wherein you are protecting maybe yourself, trying to guard your own feelings or maybe you are, you know, like I said, you are resisting your own feelings, your own urges. Or maybe, I don't know, why are you doing that? Are you protecting your own self? Or are you just, you know, you don't want to deal with the complications of life. You don't want to deal with this person. That is why you are being guarded. Regardless, this is an energy we're in. It seems that you are guarded but at the same time you are also open to finding out a lot more things it's like there is a form of clarity that you want to take hold of but it's not yet within your grasp you know so this could be a situation as well wherein you are looking back into something you're thinking back into something maybe you wanted to find answers and i kind of feel that you will you will find them you I don't know. There is some form of faded situation that can come to you. So it does not mean that the actions and happening are going to be transpiring within the month of December. But this could be the month wherein you realize things that, okay, I'm not really resolving anything. I need to do something. But everything comes with some form of self-analysis into your own situation, I would say. 
We do have here the Queen of Pentacles, and this is like a reminder that, you know, you are becoming a mature person now. You are being nicer to yourself and nicer to someone else. I kind of feel that, you know, even though you are Aries, you know, Aries is a lot of impulse and energy. But this time, I kind of feel that you are now learning how to be reserved, learning how to be mature with how you handle things, especially in terms of your relationships. Also, you're trying to be a lot more patient and really kind now. So that is always a plus. And what I'm getting here is that you are about to, you know, whenever the Knight of Swords comes into place, this is a situation wherein something is really coming for you. You know, a message, a news. It could be with that person or it could be, you know, you just find out something. There is something that you are going to acknowledge, something that you are going to realize. This can also be an idea. But usually this is a form of message because nights always brings us some form of news, good or bad, because this is the night of swords. This can also be someone entering your life suddenly or this could be a situation wherein you take action in a very swift manner you know after being patient and all that after deliberating and thinking about things really thinking about the decisions that you are to do you have now made the decision to move things forward yeah so right now I kind of feel here that you are emotional, you are, you know, there is some form of healing that is going to be transpiring for you as well. But I just kind of feel that with this 10 of swords here, it's not going to be easy. I kind of feel that you are going to face your own fears, whether you like that or not. Um, I'm going to be picking up a few, or, or not Oracle cards, but Lenormand just to see to give us more clarity into this situation so for the nine of wands we do have the cross here so whenever there is a cross you know lenormand with the cross um, this is like giving us an exclamation point to the reading so there is really something that is, you know, giving you a lot of burden. And at the same time, something is being, some form of attention is required from you with this. And we have the crossroads and the bear. So it could be a very powerful decision or um, this can also be a separation though um, with this crossroad. But um, yeah. This can also be a point wherein you are stuck in making a decision, but you have to. That kind of energy. So, um, yeah. And I pick another card and we do have this writer card over here. So there could be really some form of news that you are forced to think a lot. You are forced to make a decision uh, out of something. I feel maybe something that you have turned your back away from is coming back to haunt you. And you need to face, you know, maybe you need to face your past. You need to face your own fears. But what you, what you should know is that what you are going to be dealing with for the month of December is reality. You know, something that is true, something that is real, something that is tangible. And that is really what's going to be manifesting for you in terms of your love life and relationships. This can also be a point wherein it's telling us that if you do not do something, Aries, you might just, you know, end up regretting things as well. So it's like change decision making is being called upon for you to take action. If you really, really want a new beginning in your life, you really need to think things carefully and make action, you know, 
nothing is ever going to happen if you just think and evaluate, think and evaluate and wait for things to happen. Sometimes you just need to take action, think think about it and take action and you know resolve things in a more peaceful manner i would say and that can really lead you to a more um fulfilling and wonderful outcome but um yeah i'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are quite bothered by that ten of swords though so let me um add more information on what can happen for those aries oops sun moon and rising sign okay so in terms of their love life Wow. Okay. So we have the last card over here as the Ten of Wands. So there is definitely some form of burden that we have over here. But with the High Priestess, the Page of Rods, this feels like, you know, there is going to be a message that seems fated. We have the Empress card over here. So, you know, it is, it has some form of good news to come in terms of relationships. But I kind of feel that, you know, this is a situation we're in. Something is going to tip off, you know. The stagnancy of a relationship is finally going to change. And change can be scary, but it does not seem to be very negative. That Because we are having this, the lovers and the wheel of fortune. So this can be a coming together of lovers divine lovers i would say this can also be a sign we're in changes in relationships is definitely going to be happening and transpiring for you guys for the month of december so let us see what else we are getting here from those in the sign of aries in terms of okay so we have here the sign of virgo Jupiter and the first house. So there is something that you are definitely going to be receiving. And it's better that you don't really stress too much. Don't try to overthink a lot of things. Do your own part, I would say, you know. Don't try to idealize things without taking action. That is really the biggest message all throughout this reading, you know. You are going to realize something, but the only way to take advantage of this is for you to take action. Don't just wait. Take action. Talk to someone. Communicate your own thoughts. Communicate what you really feel. And that is really the best way for you to attain the results that you want. Because if you do not speak, if you do not say anything at all, um, you might have that energy of the Ten of Swords wherein, you know, you might be feeling, feeling things on the darker side of life and feeling depressed, feeling down. So, um, yeah, the, the, basically the message here is telling us that you need to speak up. Because it's easier to receive guidance. It's easier to receive the messages of what we really need to know as we push forward um, going into 2020. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I hope this has helped you and given you insights into your situation. And, um, yeah, I'll see you again again next time.